y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl bk naturally thank you for clicking on another video if you are new here welcome to the family girl take a moment hit the subscribe button ring that alarm and sound up in the comments for your girl let me know that you're here let me know that you're watching today i'm going to be sharing my updated 2021 product stash with you guys and i'm doing this pre black friday stock because I want you guys to see my stash as it is right now. Before I add in any new products that I got, I have several videos coming out on my Black Friday shops and hauls, all that good stuff. So I didn't want it to be redundant for you seeing products that you guys saw in the haul and then adding them to the product stash. So before I add those products into my stash, I'm going to be sharing what has been here already, things that I purchased from last year that your girl has not used yet, and things that just have been here, and quite honestly, I'm not even sure that I'm going to use them. So let's get into what's in my stash. So I have to take a different approach with this, y'all, because this is a lot to go through, and um, you know, I didn't want to be standing and blocking the products per se, but I will move and adjust myself accordingly. Um, I also wanted to not have to pull down a ton of products and then put them back um, the same way I kind of did my video like last year with the week in my stash. So I am going to be going through the products just like this, uh, sitting down here. And if I need to stand, I will, don't worry. But um, let me know how you guys like this format. You know, seeing the video from this angle gives you full insight into how I have my products stashed and arranged here and um girl let's get into it because it's a lot so you guys can see first and foremost i have my camille rose section right here the first thing up here is the honey hydrates uh, i want i got this product some point mid-year this year and you guys can see i'm about halfway through with it um i love this leave-in for its hydration properties and it's called honey hydrate for a reason but this is a great leave-in conditioner definitely better applied in the shower under um seam and running water but it works really well i've found that it plays very well with plenty of products so that's a plus sitting here and she's definitely getting used you guys can see i have curl maker um i have about one and a half bottles of this this is one of my favorite gels definitely love this during like spring and summer wash and goes it is an all year round product for me in spite uh despite the humidity that we face here um it's one of the things that keeps my hair very very moisturized clumped and it's a great wash and go product that's also glycerin free so this is definitely one of my top bays when it comes to wash and go gels I have here the Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. So I have one full one that's unopened. I have one here that, girl, this should have been in my product use up video, but this one doesn't really have a ton in it. Um, I probably would only be able to get like a quarter section out of this and I would have to open another one. But I have these. I have two of the Aloe Whipped Butter Gels, Aloe Vera and Macadamia Oil. Um, I did, I have this one, it's unopened, and then I have this, uh, I did use this once, and I really liked it, I used it for, I want to say it was like a twist out, I have not yet used it for uh, a wash and go, yeah, so this is actually a pretty lightweight whole product, um, it does say that on the package as well, so I'm pretty sure I had used this for a twist out, it definitely gave me a very soft twist out, not a, a ton of definition, but it did give me a moisturized style. So um, I do like this product. I don't know that this is something that will have a regular place in my stash, but I guess we'll see as it kind of goes on, um, as I use the product more and figure out how I like to use it. I have two of the fan favorite, of course, the Sweet Almond Milk and Honey um, Almond Jade Twisting Butter. And I have one unopened, of course. I have one that's about, um, I want to say oh two-thirds of well a third of the way used and I love this product for twist outs and uh, braid outs this is super moisturizing definitely could be a great one and done um, it smells really really good and you know it's definitely a staple for Camille Rose for my styling products it just needs a little clean out on the inside y'all a couple of hairs up in here that <laughs> 
kind of shocked me or surprised me when I opened it up. But yeah, so this is definitely a staple for styling products for Camille Rose. And then I have the Curlade uh, Moisture Butter. So I think what ended up happening, um, when I picked this up, this I picked up in error and this was the actual product that I was supposed to pick up. And I've heard good things about this product for wash and goes. Um, this one contains green tea and jojoba and it says that it's an oil rich, oil and rich softening hair butter with sweet notes of vanilla and macadamia um, and crafted to <laughs> deliver intense moisture. And while it doesn't highlight a Actually, this does highlight saying that it's a good uh, styling tool for twist outs, locks, and braids. But I've heard quite a few people say that they use this real and they really love it for wash and goes. So that was the intention when I purchased this. Um, I've yet to use it, but I will be using it uh, in the near future and I will let you guys know how I like it. I have two of the Moroccan pear conditioning custards. So I have one that's unopened, one that's about two thirds of the way complete and this is just something that I use as a rinse out leave-in. Um, I'm the type of person, I do some, most of the time going with a rinse out leave-in and a deep conditioner simply because my hair gets super tangled and even though I pre-poo and I you know, detangle before I shampoo, my hair likes to twist around itself um, because it is extremely curly. So by the time I reach my conditioning step, um, it's time for me to pretty much detangle again and I have to do that again you know once I get to like the leave-in stage um, that's just the nature of my hair so I tend to use these most most wash days from her around the world collection I have um, three deep conditioners here so I basically have one of each um, I want to try these these were something that I purchased during Black Friday 2020 that I have not yet gotten to use and this is the Nangai and Tsuvaki Strength Restore Protein Treatments. Um, I also have the Oud Rich Infusion Moisture Treatments and then I have the Bur Buriti Nectar Repair Cholesterol Treatment. Now I think when I purchased this um, I was under the impression that it was the protein treatment and the um, Oud Rich that people were raving about and you know weren't like super excited about this one but it's actually this um, protein treatment that doesn't get a lot of attention and it seems to not be like a fan fave so you know I will see when I try them out uh, this coming year and you know I mean I think I don't know how this really differs from her other products. I know the uh, the remainder of her products tend to be pretty like heavy coconut based. Um, it doesn't appear that this one has any coconut in it, which you know might be a part of the problem <laughs> for some or for what they're used to from Camille Rose. But it seems like the other two actually do. So maybe that's a part of the issue. I have two of the Janssen's Moisture Max conditioners. These contain coconut milk and aloe vera, um, both you know, two super moisturizing products. Um, aloe definitely helps with not only moisturizing but smoothing the hair. And now I will be honest, um, when I pick these up, I pick these up really on the basis of just giving them a try because I'm a huge Camille Rose fan. This is probably um, one of the core brands that I go to when I need a huge reset for my hair as far as like hydration or moisture goes. And I know that every time these products are gonna deliver. But sadly, um, the feedback that like, well, the sadly the things that I've heard about this particular conditioner is actually not as good as the algae renew um so i haven't tried it yet but it is something that i will be trying uh pretty soon and you know hopefully it's not um disappointing because i really haven't found products from Camille rose that i don't like yet but you know if i don't it's not a big deal um you know there's always products from brands that we love that we just don't like so, so i have a couple of um curl love moisture milks here and then I have one that's really, again, this should have been in my use up. When I say there is like literally a droplet of product in here, I had it upside down because I'm like trying to get every single bit of the product out. But I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to my product use up bag so that I can use this up and get rid of this bottle. And then I have like a full one here and then one that's probably about maybe a quarter of the way used. And um, this is definitely, definitely, definitely a great leave-in. 
um it's hella moisturizing almost to the point that um sometimes if you use too much of it it can feel like you're over hydrating but it's a really great leave-in and it's something that's a staple in my stash and will remain that way so long as they don't change the formula i have her cleanse rinse and this is supposed to be the clarifying shampoo it says moisturizing and clarifying so but it does say moisturizing first which i find interesting um honey and peppermint flavor or you know scent and i actually have not tried this yet so i am a huge fan um if you guys have been here you know i'm a huge fan of the sweet ginger rinse which i also have in my stash and this is probably if i had to choose you know a regular shampoo to use uh for the for, for the remainder of my years this probably will be it um i find this to be super super cleansing but not stripping and it just makes my hair feel super clean um it's extremely gentle and i really like that so i'm interested to see what the clarifying shampoo does when i do try it but this is something yes i've had it for a little bit and no i have the mint condition braid and scalp spray so this is sea moss and aloe vera and this you can see um you guys can see i have been using it it's probably about i want to say maybe close to halfway finish and i like this um i use this to spray on my scalp at night when i just need to like relieve an itch so when i have twists or braids where my scalp is open and i don't know if it's just a thing because like like i said i'm a washing old girl so um when i tend to have my hair parted up and my scalp is exposed like my head just goes wild and products like this definitely are lifesavers. Um, I use this to spray in between the parts when I have twists or braids when I haven't like you know taken them out or done a takedown. And this relieves so much of the the itching. It adds a cooling effect to the scalp, and it basically opens up the follicles so that like I can go in and either add some like leave-in or oil and soothe my scalp so that I'm not like in my head scratching my scalp up. So. I really enjoyed this product I really thought I wasn't going to like it when I first got it but I really enjoyed this would definitely buy it again my only qualm with this is the pump not so much the spray piece but this locking thing that they have under here when you unlock it you so you're supposed to unlock it to the side and this does not stay so sometimes you're like squeezing this and then this will suddenly lock and then it's like you're you feel like you're about to break this pump piece so I think they should rethink this little thing they got going on here but other than that I really enjoy this I have two and a little bit of my fresh curl revitalizing hair smoother so this product is for me is just kind of like a moisturizer whenever I need it um I've never actually used it as a leave-in I know that people have but you know maybe that's something i'll give it a try for but you guys obviously can see i use it definitely and um i use it pretty often anytime i need to add moisture like i said if i spray my scalp and i need to add a leave-in or some moisturizer on it this is a product i will definitely go to no matter what i style my hair with and i'll use this as a daily like refresher or when i need to do like refreshes every other day or something because it's just that moisturizing i rarely have an issue with it um not pairing with with whatever products i put on and like it's just a damn good moisturizer so you know definitely something a staple in my stash and clearly you guys can see i'm fully stocked on them so i also have in my collection like the honey line that was released for black friday 2020 um, this is the honeycomb curl whip texture defining super cream. I have not touched this yet I did not hear great things about this line, but you know, I haven't tried it for myself So I'm not going to, to judge it in any way. I have the spiked honey mousse form one styler and it's nettle root infused um, I actually have not used this mousse yet. I am getting more into mousses um, I would say probably in the last few months and you'll definitely see me doing a lot of mousse styling come 2022 but I will try this out for sure I'll probably do like a, a broad set or something with this and let you guys know how I like it and then I have the honeydew liquid moisture refresher now there was a product from this line that I know for sure that I'm missing and it was sold out when I purchased it last year so 
I don't remember what it was. I don't know if it was like a cleanser or a conditioner or something. But, but I'll take a look at it and determine if it's something I truly need to complete the like the you know the first impression or review. But ultimately, um, I have the Honeydew Liquid Moisture Refresher. Now I am a fan of refreshers, and this is another refresher that I've definitely been using. Um, has it done anything like stand out for me? No, I just think it does what a refresher does, which is, you know, if you need to add moisture to your hair without, you know, adding too much water and making it frizz up, or, you know, if I need to just kind of refresh, this is something that I would spray on my hair and then just keep it moving. Um, it does the job for what it is. And I don't know that, you know, I would necessarily repurchase it at this moment, but you know, it wasn't a bad product to have in my stash because I, I am a refresher kind of girl. So this is the only thing that I've, I've used from this line. And, you know, I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. The next products that I have, y'all, are um, the Camille Rose Cleansing Milks. And this is from, from her Vegan Milk Infusions line. So I have the White Orchid here. Um, I've used this product, I think I had two of these at one point and I used one. I'm pretty sure that the rest of the first one is in my um, product use up bag. And I think I recall saying that this one in like one of my videos was like the originally like listed as elongation, but this is actually the defining cleansing milk. So this one, um, my opinion about these, I just think they're really good cleansers, but you know they're good co-washes and they do they do what needs to be done they're not super like lathering but they don't feel like just they don't just feel like you're rinsing with a conditioner if that makes sense so this is the white orchid one I have two yes i have two of the um citrus blossom so or neroli blossom i don't know if there was something that changed in this it doesn't appear to other than the name but this is what I meant as far as the um, packaging. So this I actually had from the original like line where it says on this one elongation. And then this is like the updated packaging where the name was changed and then they removed that um, you know claim from the pack. So I do have these two. This is probably the one that I have not used yet, but um, I've definitely used the definition one and then the softening one. So there's two of these here. I have the Latte Define Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I actually haven't tried this one yet, so I will see how it uh, works out, you know, for me when I do try it. But this is from that, I don't even know what the actual line is called, <laughs> but I don't remember off the top of my head what the line is called, but this is from that same line where the Honey Hydrate comes in and um yeah i haven't heard too much about this particular conditioner but i know that everybody loves the honey hydrate and then from the coconut water line which i love this line for like hydration purposes i have two of the detangling leave-ins um this is probably my go-to leave-in when i don't really know what products i want to use I just need to get my hair cleansed, I need to get some moisture in it, and I need to get going. And I don't want to think about, you know, what I'm using. So love, love, love the hydration that these provide, and it definitely is a go-to, like grab it when, whenever type of product. Um, it plays well with a lot of things, so, you know, I'm here for it, and y'all know I'm all about hydration, and this is the Maximum Hydration line, and it hasn't failed for what it says it, it's supposed to do, so that's that i have two of the um coconut water hydrating elixirs and this is my first first year trying these um it says it's an invigorating lotion to quench parched hair i think you're supposed to use this like as a daily refresher and or you can use it as a leave-in you can yeah you can use it as a refresher you can use it as a leave-in um it doesn't really give very very specific directions but my, my honest opinion like and feeling on this this to me legitimately feels like the leave-in with maybe a tad more water um i can tell you again not a fan of this pump this stuff is way too thick 
for this pump it doesn't even come out so this they need to rethink this because this right here is not working I have the curl coating co-wash from this line um this is a decent co-wash like I don't have any um like it's definitely not a wow kind of co-wash for me but it does do the job like if this is something if you need it like a uh, kind of a burst of like hydration like your hair is just dry um, maybe it wasn't like even super dirty but you need to like re reinstate some moisture into it I would probably go to this um, kind of reminds me more of a conditioning co-wash than anything else but it literally is meant to rehydrate your hair and I think that's what it does I have the penetrating hair treatment um, you know again with this line this is really going to be another like super hydrating product um this is a line i really like i use it definitely um in the colder months for sure but when my hair is going through it and it's rejecting moisture it's not really retaining moisture um this is definitely a line i would look to to make sure i get like my hair opened up meaning i'm just saturating saturating her with moisture so that my hair can get infused from the inside out if that makes sense so i would use this in that case um you know this is like i said in my i, I can't remember what video i said it in. it might have been like the product use up video you know this is a good deep conditioner i'm not taking that away from it is it something that if tomorrow they took it away i would be like highly disappointed no i wouldn't but it is a good deep conditioner and then i have two of my coconut style setters so this is a product that i do like to use um for maybe more so winter twist outs love 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 this for um wash and goes in the spring and summer um i love to use this under like the kinky curly styling custard um this is just like something that provides super like super super moisture it's moisture on another level under that gel and because the gel itself is moisturizing it gives me probably one of the most defined wash and goes i have um and then not only that it lasts really really long and like the hair feels great so you know this is definitely a staple it's something that will remain in my uh, sash and then lastly on this shelf we have texture id products so i have the thermal multi-styling foam um it has wheat protein and argon oil in it um i recently tried this for the first time and i really do like this y'all i tried this with their um styling cream and i'm a fan of the styling cream i actually have two of them sitting here on the shelf i'm a fan of the styling cream i love the way this moisturizes it gives a really really soft hold to the hair but it's lasting like the moisture is lasting like your style will be like nice and fluffy but you still see the definition that you want to see um i paired it with this and i really enjoy the twist out that i had with these two products so I'm really digging this um I look forward to using it to style some more and possibly even do some like you know sets with it like ride sets or just maybe even a wash and go quite honestly because I thought it was a really really good mousse and I didn't feel like it dried out my hair um I have two of these on the shelf and then of course I have the deep treatment mask now this is a mask that I was I've been using for uh, years at this point and it is a good mask you know I will give it that it's definitely a balancing mask um, I do feel like it does need a little bit help a little bit of help for me to get the kind of moisture that I want from it um, to really just amplify it and usually how I use this is I will add some avocado oil that's my first preference um, if I can't get my hands on avocado oil, I'll definitely add some olive oil and this gives me a really, really good deep condition. And then of course, as a part of the wash day products, um, I have the curl clarifying shampoo and the three times moisture cream conditioner. This is probably my favorite clarifying shampoo, um, until like I've, I've used this for years to clarify. Love the fact that it clarifies without making your hair feel like a Brillo pad. And then two, with the moisturizing conditioner on top, um, 
this thing restores moisture like no other when i say i don't know what the formula is on this but this is probably one of the moist most moisturizing conditioners um rinse out conditioners you can use it as a deep conditioner but um if you choose to but it's one of the most moisturizing rinse out conditioners i've probably ever used and this line for me it really just hits home it's super affordable and it really gets the job done i have the as i am coconut co-wash this is like a classic and a staple in the natural hair community um i'll be honest like as i am for me has not been like a go-to brand it was something i used really early on in my um natural hair journey and of course you know I, I chalked some of it up to me just not knowing my hair and not knowing really how to care for my hair but the products um like their double buttercream i used to use that for styling and to me it just did not give me like the moisture that i needed or that my hair needed um so this is the first time i'm revisiting as i am probably in close to 10 years and i'm starting with the co-washes um so this one is a fan favorite and then i also have their dry itchy scalp care olive and tea tree oil dandruff co-wash now i don't have dandruff um i actually don't produce a lot of sebum so there's not a lot for like build up on my scalp but i do tend to have an itchy scalp so anything that's going to help with like calming and soothing my scalp i you know i typically gravitate towards so i haven't tried this yet but um i've heard some really good things about this as well and then of course i have my aztec healing clay um this one is open it's only like a little bit left in here i probably have like one more use in here and then i have like my um i bought the big jar this time around to replace it because instead of buying just like multiples i think this was like 19.99 if i remember correctly on amazon so i have that ready for use for the year um and then in here i also have redkins like salon uh salon professional you know like shampoo and conditioner this was something i also started using um a little bit into my natural hair journey but I enjoy this as a sulfate cleanser it's probably the only sulfate cleanser I have at this point in my stash and um, every so often I do use this I think it's even though it contains sulfates it's like super softening and you know I really enjoy the cleanse I get from this um, it's like a reset for my hair and then the conditioner I have uh, two of them I have one that's open and it's probably almost done yeah and then i have a new one to replace that but i haven't used it in a while but i do think it is something i probably will use in the near future it might even be the thing i use when i do my uh hair straightening at the end of the year so that i can do my trim and everything but those are um probably the only sulfate shampoos that i probably will use at at this particular juncture in my hair journey so down to the second shelf um, starting in this corner here I hope that you guys can see because I know I'm sitting here also I do have like the African pride uh, moisture miracle line and starting with the moisture miracle shampoo this is a shampoo that I really enjoy um, oh they actually have an expiration date on this I did not know that but the expiration is 2023 so I still have some time to use and finish this up but yes this is a really good shampoo um, this is a great cleansing shampoo and um, it definitely leaves the hair like nice moisturized and cleansed great for someone if they really only want to shop affordable products it's definitely a worthy shampoo um, I would have no problem keeping it in my stash you know if all of the high-end sh shampoos disappeared and I was just looking for a great clean I have their honey chocolate and coconut oil conditioner and this is probably the one product in the line that I'm not like a super fan of I don't really see much benefit come from this if I'm being honest um, I do kind of feel like I can't remember exactly what I correlated it to and I don't know if it's the chocolate and the coconut oil kind of like counteracting one another but it leaves this like weird feel on the hair um that i believe comes from 
the chocolate and the coconut together, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like if you know how chocolate is like gritty and then you have that oily kind of slip that you get, like coconut oil tends to leave kind of like a, um, what do you call that? If you ever like ran, you know that squeaky sound, like if you ever ran your hand up and down like a clean piece of hair, it's almost like this like, like that kind of feeling but um I, I don't know like for me this conditioner just is not doing what the rest of the line is doing um once I use this up you probably won't see this in my stash again I have the um moisture miracle Moroccan clay and shea butter detox and soften heat activated mask I really enjoyed this mask when I use it it smells really good as well um, I think it's a great affordable deep conditioning mask and it really needs that heat in order to activate and work well in your hair. Um, I also have two of the Moisturize and Define, Define Curling Creams. Um, I'm not even 100% sure why I have two, y'all. But <laughs> love, love, love the way this stuff works. You can see this one is about halfway gone. I use this, use this on Bantu knots. Like my hair was so, so moisturized. I love that the, the curling cream is like super lightweight, but it packs a lot of moisture. So. Definitely enjoyed using this and you know, all my products, they're safe right now for sure. <laughs> um, we got at least another year on the expiration. So I definitely will make sure I get these into my rotation this year and use them up. And then I have two of the Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In Creams. The Leave-In Cream worked really well. I think this paired really well with the Curling Cream. And the thing I really love about this, I said this I think in my wash day video, is that the Leave-In actually comes in a jar where you can scoop it out. Um, it's really, really thick, which, you know, we love that for us. I just think this was like mind blowing the fact that they put this in a jar where it's actually accessible you can access all access all the products and you know you're not struggling to get your leave-in out of this like minuscule hole um you know and then having to hold on to bottles that are virtually empty because you have to wait you know a whole week for gravity to run its course and pull the product down so i thought this was like a really great concept for a leave-in and I would really love it if I would see more people actually utilize it. And I have their flaxseed oil and shea butter curl defining gel and cream. And I like this. I really like this. I use this for a wash and go. Um, I can't really see how much product I have left in it, but there's definitely, it feels like maybe close to half. And I enjoy this for a wash and go. Definitely a wash and go that has to be done in the shower for me. But I believe in my week in my stash videos last year, this was the, the product I used for the wash and go I was sporting. So I really enjoyed this product. Would definitely repurchase this uh, for an affordable like gel that gives a great wash and go. And then I also have their curl mousse, which I just started using this year and I'm really enjoying this too. I haven't used it in conjunction with like the other products in the line, but I have used it um, just in styling and it seemed to work well with like mixing in with other products. So I was that was a, a plus for sure. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this some more this year as well. Moving over to some more affordable hair care. So we have the Garnier Fructis um, treat line and then this is the avocado con shampoo and treat conditioner um i have not opened this i haven't opened this simply because when i was using the um aloe vera one you know the products even though the the conditioner does go a lot quicker for me um i just didn't want to have all of them open because the product shelf life life is 12 months and even though yes i know i can probably use them a little bit longer um we already see how challenging it is to get through a ton of products so i don't want to just have products sitting open and being wasted unnecessarily so i haven't even opened these and i'm pretty sure i've had these now for like close to a year um probably not a full year but definitely close In that line i also have their one minute hair mask on um, the smoothing treat so again for me one minute conditioning is just not a thing not for a deep conditioner I, I wouldn't even waste my product like that i don't care what the claim is but i haven't used this yet but i did really really like the aloe one so i can't imagine that i would expect anything less and i wouldn't love the avocado because my hair loves avocado 
I also have the um, Damaging Repair Papaya Extract Conditioner in that same uh, line. And I have their Shampoo and Treat Conditioner for this one also. Now this one is uh, protein based. So this is supposed to be reparative. Um, it provides more breakage, breakage protection. I haven't opened this one, you know, for the same reason that I haven't opened the others yet. And then lastly, um, from the Garnier Fruitis Treat line, I actually have this banana extract deep conditioner. I, when this first came out, like when I picked this up, this was new y'all. And when I say new, I mean it was a new product. I was for sure that they would be bringing like a shampoo and conditioner to this. I have yet to see it. So if you're familiar with this particular line from the Garnier Fruitis Treat line, and you know where I can get the shampoo and conditioner, let me know. Um, I would still use this for sure as a strengthening treatment, but it would really be nice to have the, the full wash day product so that they can be used together, or at least be tried together. Once I tried them together, I don't have to use them together anymore, but you know, I was for sure that they were gonna bring a shampoo and a conditioner for this shortly thereafter, and um, almost a year later, nothing. <laughs> the next set of products here I have are from the Dove Amplified Textures line. So I have the Hydrating Cleanse Shampoo. Um, this says Hydrating Cleanse. I This gives me more of like clarifying feels, and it is a good shampoo. It's a good affordable shampoo. Can't really complain about it. It does the job, your hair gets clean, and it feels good after. Um, I have the conditioner, the Super Slip Detangling Conditioner. This is a really, really good rinse out conditioner. You guys can see I've used probably about a quarter of the bottle. Um, and I've used this a few times, but this conditioner has so much slip, a little bit really does go a long way. Um, I also have their Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. Now this is supposed to be, it says for curls and waves. I haven't used this yet. I would imagine like you could use this for a wash and go. I'm sure you could use it atop the like cream for extra hold, but I'm going to try it at some point for a wash and go. And I haven't used it yet, so I really don't have an opinion on this. Then we have the Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner. You can see that I'm about, I'm close to pretty halfway through this bottle. Um, I've used this line a few times. This is another line I kind of go to when I'm like, you know, I want a quick wash day. I need to use up some products. Um, I really don't want to think about it. If I really need like a good detangler, um, for sure, I will turn to this because that, like I said, that that uh, that rinse out conditioner is amazing for slip. I just don't want to think about it, right? Or if I'm like, eh, maybe my hair is like not super dirty, I'll just go in with this stuff and um, utilize it. The biggest thing for me is I don't feel like this line has lasting moisture. I find myself having to go in probably like every two to three days to re-moisturize the hair, which, you know, is not always like the best thing, but it, it definitely doesn't pack a lasting moisture. It's light, I think it's lightweight, but you know, it, if you needed a style for a day or two, could it work? Absolutely. Twistin Moisture Shaping Buttercream, and I have used this quite a few times. So there's about, I wanna say like a little less than half of the product left in the bottle. Um, I'm sure you guys can't see that. Oh, it's falling out. <laughs> So this is like super runny um, for it to be like a buttercream, which, you know, maybe that lends to the fact that and why it's like not super long lasting moisture, but you know, it moisturizes. If you could only get affordable products, can it do the job? Yes, you would just have to re-moisturize often. Lastly, we have the Moisture Spa Recovery Mask and you know, it's a decent deep conditioner. Um, it's not a super wow effect for me, but Again, if you needed a for an affordable deep conditioner, can it get the job done? Yes. So the next products we have here are the Shea, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Intensive Hydration Line. Um, I have two of the deep conditioners sitting back here. I have said this previously time and time again. This is one of my go-to um, hair lines for like the winter time. 
it just provides me kind of extreme hydration it's another line that I use like when my hair needs a reset or I'm just like I want a little bit of an extra moisture and I don't know how that's gonna be like you know being down in the south maybe that you know requirement for my hair won't be as necessary because it doesn't get super cold here the way it did when I was living up north but you know for the meantime and in between time um, I don't see a need to change it if it's not broke don't fix it so you know they're here and they will be staples um, for that and I will continue to use them in that capacity I have the intensive hydration shampoo this is a new bottle um, not new in a sense of I just bought it but it is a new bottle meaning the last bottle that I had here I actually finished so this one is the one that I'm going to be using now and then I also have the conditioner which this one is not yet open I'm pretty sure I have one that needs to be used up in my product use up bag um, that probably has a little bit in it and then I also have another leave-in milk so this one has not been used yet I'm pretty sure I have one of these in my use up bag as well from Shea Moisture I also have my hydrate and honey repair so this uh, shampoo I've actually had this shampoo for quite some time and I'm just trying to see here no it doesn't have a call out for um, like uh, expiration date so that's a good thing um, it's kind of like separating a little bit because I've had it for a little while but I do use it this is another winter go-to product this is the hydrate and repair shampoo um, this is a great moisture protein balance line and I think it works really really well in my hair I have the deep conditioner that goes along with it the deep treatments and I typically can get two uses out of this jar so I think I have about maybe one and a half uses left. I might have like used this to help finish up the previous jar. I have about one, I have one full jar and a, about a, a third of the conditioner. Um, conditioners, you will always see me with these in multiples, the rinse out conditioners, simply because I go through quite a bit of these when I'm doing like the tangling in the shower. So. I always have multiples of those and then the last thing I have from that line is a new spray leave-in um, so this I purchased probably like in the last I purchased this in recent months because the other one was running out the other one is pretty low it's in my product use it bag but it's a spray leave-in but it is a thicker leave-in than would typically be in a spray so this is probably the one of the only spray leave-ins that I bother myself with y'all and then from the old school Aussie three minute miracle moist I have their three minute deep conditioner with avocado and Australian jojoba oil um, I actually have about six of these there was at one point I used to use this product way very very frequently and I purchased like quite a few um, I don't use it as frequently anymore because like I've introduced myself to you know so many products where um, I can get more of that like same slip without having to necessarily use silicones all the time so I do still love this conditioner um, I just don't use it as often this will probably be something I go in with go in with when I straighten my hair but it is a good conditioner it's a good affordable conditioner you know if you wanted to use this as like a pre poo that's great it has the slip for it you'd be shampooing out the silicones anyway so um you know it's definitely a product in my stash and they will get used i have some products here that i got i believe in i want to say it was a curl box and girl I was like when I saw them um, I saw the mission and I was like okay you know this sounds pretty like interesting let me give it a try um, when I got the products I wasn't really impressed with the ingredients especially not with the claims that the products were making but I'm still undecided about whether I want to use them or not I may end up trying them but the brand is Wakati now I have not seen a nan individual <laughs> review this line but you know the like I said I was really impressed by the the mission 
and the fact that it was uh it's a brand that was designed by college students so you know i was like maybe i will try it um you know give it one chance but i'm going to tell y'all like there is nothing in this that is screaming to me you know real quality so um, I was a little concerned and it has sat here quite honestly for the entire time for that reason. But I have an oil infused cream. It has natural shea and jojoba oils, but those ingredients are at the very bottom of the list. So, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff <laughs> up above it before you get to what is marketed on the front of the products. Um, I have their sulfate free shampoo with the same ingredients. I have their, it says Optimal Moisture for finger, finger Detangling, Water Activated Advanced Conditioner. And then I have a Reactivating Conditioning Mist. So the products are here, you know, maybe I'll give it a go and then they may have to go. <laughs> um, on this side of my shelf, I have a couple of old school products that I used to use that I have not used in a, a long, long while, I'll be honest. Um, this was the OGX Tea Tree and Mint Shampoo, Hydrating Shampoo, and then I also have their conditioner. I like these products. Um, this was something that I would say a little bit earlier in my hair journey I experimented with. I enjoyed using the shampoo. Um, I probably would still use this like there's nothing wrong with the shampoo um, the conditioner I use a lot for like conditioning co-washes and, and um, I will say since I've expanded like my hair like hairline I don't use it for that as much um, I probably would use this in a similar manner um, maybe in like the spring or summer months when I just need like to add moisture to my hair as opposed to trying to actually co-wash cleanse but um this could also potentially be used as a pre-poo if i wanted to just like soften my hair up before i go on with the shampoo i don't i think i tried that once i didn't really care for it as a detangler so just like a softening product before i shampoo i would probably use it like that but i don't get to use it as often as i used to but it is still a really good oh <laughs> it is still a really good line and it gives a nice tingle to the hair to the scalp i have my um jbco oils over here so i have a couple of these that are still closed um and then i have one that is about halfway done and i use these um i typically use this to put it around like my edges or i'll add it to conditioner and sometimes i'll use it to seal but um castor oil is amazing and then I have my Blueberry Bliss, Blueberry and Mint Tea Scalp Oil. I freaking love this oil. I love to add this to my hair when I'm like right out of like wash day um, before my scalp even dries. It gives like a great tingle to whatever style I'm doing. Um, it gives a great tingle to the scalp and it adds some nice shine, you know, to whatever style I'm doing. Moving down to the bottom just a little bit. So I have some oils on this side. Um, I have some almond oil, 100% pure almond oil. Um, I bought this probably in early, like the early to mid part of 2020. And you know, a little goes a long way with this oil. Um, this is one oil, even though it is a lightweight oil, it's a carrier oil. If you use too much of this, um, you will be oily. So a little goes a long way. Uh, and I have not really put a dent in the bottle and probably maybe a little less than a quarter of a way through But this is something you can also use on your body Which I don't and maybe I'll start doing that just to help me move the product. It is a good oil sweet almond oil I have my Camille Rose cocoa nibs and honey ultimate growth serum I've had this oil for maybe like two years or so and it's definitely nearing the, the end I really really like this oil it's a lightweight oil but it makes your scalp feel really good um, I love it to seal and add moisture to the hair it contains um, Ayurvedic Brahmi and Amla oils and I freaking love this oil this is something I would definitely repurchase so I'm trying to make a little space so y'all can see but 
On this side, on the bottom, we have some Design Essentials products. So I have their Almond and Avocado Moisturizing Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I used this product one time. I enjoyed it when I used it. It was for a perm rod set. Um, if I can find the picture, I'll post a clip of the actual rod set. It was, you know, my hair was nice, it was moisturized. The perm rod set lasted quite a few days and I really don't have an issue with it. I haven't used it a ton because at the time, I believe I only had like maybe one or two products from them and I still might. <laughs> I still might but um I think it was this and the mousse so I didn't really I said I wanted to try the actual like wash day products to really give the line a full review I have their almond, almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse and mousse curl enhancing mousse and I really enjoyed this when I used it you guys can see this product is about a quarter of the weight done as well and then I picked up their Honey Curl Forming Custard. Now this product I haven't tried and I really, really want to try this. But like I said, I've been trying to hold out to get like the wash day products. I didn't even think to put that in my like Black Friday wish list this year or anything like that. But I'll probably just use these products, the styling products, with another shampoo that I have because I actually do have a deep conditioner from Design Essentials that I picked up based on the recommendation of a YouTuber and i actually haven't tried that yet so maybe i'll just pair it with a shampoo that i already have and then just go in with the deep conditioner and then use those styling products so the deep conditioner i have from them is the rosemary and mint and this is soup <laughs> this is the stimulating super moisturizing conditioner um 32 ounces worth of conditioner you know untouched but this is how it came from amazon so <laughs> You know, we're we're here, we're gonna use it. We're gonna use them this year. I'm so excited um, for this 2022 hair growth journey because I really just wanna get back to the place that I was in 2020 with my hair regimen. And believe me, these products will get used, y'all, if I am rocking and carrying my regimen the way that I usually do because when I do that, I'm cleansing my hair at least two to three times a week. And I say three times depending on what's going on, but at least twice a week, you know, um, once maybe like every four days. So <sighs> we're going to get back and we're going to get this hair growth journey going once more. And my hair is growing. Don't get, you know, I'm not saying that my hair is not growing because it has grown significantly since I've cut it off. But I'm talking about really getting her to a place where you know she my hair knows the routine she's responsive she's moisture trained um the styling process is not as challenging and i say as challenging meaning that she's willing to conform you know she's she's playing nice with me so she's willing to conform to the styles that i'm doing the time that i go through with my hair where she is not willing to do anything other than what may seem like a wash and go so um yeah but this is the deep conditioner that i have from them the next brand that i have products from down here is a brand that i really don't hear a ton about on youtube but i really have enjoyed their products and that's naturally boundless so i actually have their charcoal shampoo bar now oh the shampoo bar is in my bathroom so you know i'll link, link a picture like right here but that shampoo bar is, when I say chef's kiss, y'all, that charcoal shampoo bar is the business. Like, it cleanses your hair so well, but does not leave your hair dry the way um, typical, like, you know, charcoal or black soap kind of uh, cleansers do. I love, love, love their Sweet Mint Smoothie Conditioner. Um, this stuff smells amazing. I freaking love it. It's so hydrating. It's a three-in-one detangling conditioner, so you can actually use it as a detangler. You can use it as, I believe, a um, deep conditioner, and you can use it as a leave-in conditioner. And it smells so, so good. I would definitely repurchase this, and I'm definitely going to repurchase it once I'm actually done and I get through some of these other products here. And then I have the Whip Shea Sorbet. Um, this is a, like a, 
multi-use hair <laughs> it's a multi-use cream you can use it for your hair your body and your face it does have a uh, shea butter coconut oil jojoba oil vitamin e and other essential oils when i say y'all this stuff is super super moisturizing a little really goes a long way i think i might have overdid it the last time i used this in my hair um because i've only used it maybe like once or twice but the moisture was there for sure but guess what so was the buildup. um this is a product that i will say it is worth using for the moisture the lasting moisture and shine however when you're done using this you are going to have to clarify um i think it's worth it though you know if you want good products that are going to do your hair right it's definitely one that i would try so next up, I have my avocado quinoa co-wash from Brio Geo. I have three of these right now, and y'all, I'm going to be savoring these because they discontinued this co-wash, and I am heartbroken. Um, so I do have three of them here, and I have one that is pretty much um, maybe like a little bit left in it. It's a quarter, about a quarter of a bottle left for me to use. I have it turned upside down so I can get the product out. Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Mask. So I do have another unopened one of these back there. This one is about, it's a little more than half that's left in the container. So I probably can get two more uses out of this one before I have to go open the other one. But I do have a couple that I just picked up for Black Friday. I have the Matcha Apple Replenishing superfood shampoo and then i also have the conditioner to go along with that um this is a really really good shampoo um gives me a little bit of a clarifying feel but you know it's not a bad clarifier um i think i could compare this you know with in good faith to kind of the feel of the um the texture id clarifying shampoo and then this conditioner is so slippery it's such such a such a good rinse out conditioner um to be honest if you use this as a rinse out conditioner you don't necessarily have to follow with the deep conditioner i do that that's my personal preference but it's not absolutely required i have my rio Gio scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo if you've heard me talk about this shampoo at all you know that i love it um this jar is about like halfway done and when i say this is just like a really really nice micro exfoliating shampoo um it gets the the job gets your hair so cleansed it feels so good and you get that super super gentle exfoliation on your scalp and then i have their charcoal and peppermint oil cooling jelly conditioner which to be honest i have not used yet every time i've used this i've actually gone in with like my um kiwi avocado or kiwi avocado like moisture products so the next time i use this i'm gonna actually try this out and let you guys know how i like it also from brio Gio, you guys know i have my don't despair repair deep conditioner and this has been a holy grail for me for a few years now. I always buy the 32 ounce when I buy it. I think this year was the first year I bought the smaller jar just because of the sheer amount of products that I have in my stash. But this is a great protein conditioner. Um, it does leave your hair moisturized, but I would definitely say it strengthens a little bit more than it moisturizes. It is semi-balanced though, but it is a great conditioner, great for restorative purposes, and you know, I stand by it. Um, if you haven't tried it, I definitely would suggest trying it. And then these products that you see down here, these are just the buys that I got this year. So I have another of the uh, micro exfoliating shampoo, and this is the regular size conditioner for the Don't Despair Repair. This is a product, I'll be honest, I don't use, but I do have it. And this is the Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Mask. Um, I hate that it's a spray, um, an aerosol spray, but it is something I have. I will make my very best attempt to use this up, but I, it's not something I gravitate towards sim for the simple fact that it comes in this little aerosol container. You guys saw these in my Sephora VIB haul, but I also have the Banana and Coconut Nourishing conditioner as well as the shampoo that goes along with that so i will be bringing these to you in a video to let you know how i like them and how they actually compare to the avocado uh, kiwi, kiwi and matcha line the next brand that i have here is kinky curly 
and I do have this seriously smooth swift set now I'm gonna be honest y'all I'm not a super fan of this product either I've had this for quite some time I really don't know if I'm going to ever get through it I'm gonna try my damnedest because this thing to me has zero moisture it's supposed to be used for like um what does it say it's a deeply hydrating soft hold setting lotion so i don't know if this is something you could maybe use for like a rod set um or you know just maybe even layer it underneath another moisturizer but i wasn't super impressed with it the first time i used it so i'm just like it's been sitting here and you know i'm probably gonna have to make a decision on whether i'm going to continue using this or if i should just throw it away pretty soon i also have the original curling custard which you guys know i love 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 this product this is one of my best wash and go uh, gels especially for the summertime glycerin free and i have uh two full ones in my stash plus this one which is about halfway done um holy girl products not going anywhere so long as they don't change the formula so um love 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 that gel so the next brand i have in my collection is myel and i have their pomegranate and honey uh line products for the most part here um i have the moisturizing and detangling shampoo um i think this is a really really good shampoo um this line works really really well in my hair and you know I, i'm gonna be honest like it's a really really good cleanser um you know the slip on the products is there and it smells amazing i have their moisturizing and detangler conditioner from the pomegranate and honey line as well so this was my backup that i had for this i think i have one in my product use up bag that um is on the verge of being used up but I do have this. I think I had gotten these products um, close to two years ago now when they had like a $5 sale or something like that. And, you know, the products have not disappointed. So, you know, in spite of all, you know, the product works, it works, girl. I have the leave-in conditioner, which I have about a third of the bottle left for this. You know, I, the sentiment is pretty much the same for that product as well. And then I have the twisting souffle. Now this is probably the one product in this line that I'm like a little bit indifferent about. I haven't really used it um, enough to say that I love it. And I think the one time I used it, I wasn't like, I may have done like a twist out or something. So, you know, I think people talk about this product for like wash and goes. I haven't tried it that way, but you know, it's not something that I've used enough to really kind of put it in a, a very specific place. So I will be using that up. I do have their Honey Ginger Flexible Hold Edge Gel. Um, Y'all, I haven't had this product so dang on long. Like, I think this was probably one of the first products I actually had from Myel. And I just happened to pick it up, but it has not been used. I have opened and smelled it before, but it says it's a 12 month shelf life. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. It's so dusty on the top. It's not even funny, but yeah, I've been using up like the edge gels too. I'm finding other ways to use them outside of just like for my edges. So I do use them to kind of like slick down, you know, the parts, um, sometimes like the back of my hair, like to hold it up or if I'm doing like something where like a braid out or a twist out where I really want my roots like to be slicked down, I will put a little bit at the root. So I'm learn I'm using them in different ways to actually use them up and that's been working. So I'll probably start utilizing that one that, that same way. I have their detangling co-wash, which y'all already know if you watch my um, product use up video, I am not a fan of this. When I use this up, um, this will not be coming back <laughs> to my home, but you know in the meantime i'm using it as a prepo i have their babasu brazilian curly cocktail curl cream this is a product i've had for a little bit also i haven't tried it yet um i got this during that same sale but you know it's not open it hasn't been used it still has the seal on it so you know i guess we'll try this out this year as well 
And then lastly from this brand, I have the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This is a really, really good um, deep conditioner as well. Protein, moisture balancing, and it smells really good, gives a nice tingle. So, you know, this is definitely gonna get used up. All right, y'all, this is where you see me looking in the camera, realizing that my memory card was out of commission, and that was where I just decided to stop the video. So stay tuned for part two of my product stash. I will be bringing that to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.